Okay, welcome back guys. So, so far what we've done is convert an original video file into the three formats that we're going to be using to generate this HTML5 video. The top one is the original file that we used and this you can really delete now, it's not necessary that you have it. But we've got the MP4 file, the OG file and this uh, WebM file. And this is all stored in our videos directory, and this is the root directory here, which you've got a video folder in here containing all of the videos. And just to reiterate, we've got this index file, which we're going to be playing with now, and this style sheets folder with the style sheet CSS file inside. So let's begin working with some HTML. So the first thing I'm going to do is declare the doc type, doc type as an HTML. We want the HTML. Uh, tags here, the head and the body, uh, body slash body. Now in the head we're just going to do some formalities here, uh, I'm going to put a title in there, um, just call it HTML5 uh, video, oops, and we're going to just create a link to the style sheet. Uh, the style sheet is not all that important. Uh, I'm just doing it just to neaten things out, kind of. Uh, but it's good that it's there. So the, the link rel style sheets, the type is text uh, CSS, and the uh, reference to that is uh, style sheets slash style sheet dot CSS. So for the head, that's now done. Um, so let's work on the body. Now I'm going to create two tags here. One is a section tag um, and then we're going to have the video tag in here. And the HTML doesn't really get much more complicated than this in terms of HTML5 video. Um, I'm going to give the video just an ID here of video and this is going to play into when we do the JavaScript because we're going to be wanting to sort of identify this particular element using the ID, in this case it's video. I'll talk more about that when we start working with the JavaScript. Um, now what we're going to be doing is inside the video we're going to have three children and these are going to be the links to the videos. So if I type in uh, the source in the arrow bracket, src equals and we'll start with, I don't know, mp4. So it's videos slash video dot mp4. Uh, we're going to want to set the type uh, to uh, video slash mp4. Uh, this video element will now play mp4 files. It's literally simple as that. So we're going to do this twice more. So source src videos slash video uh, dot webm. And the type is video slash webm or webm. There we go. And finally, we got the source again. Src equals videos slash ogv. That's kind of our org file. Oops. Videos slash video dot ogv. And the type is uh, video slash Og. So it's it's og video. Um, so let's test this. So if I save this HTML file and open up Google Chrome, refresh this, you can see we've got this giant black blob on the screen, and this is to be expected because we haven't given many sort of we haven't really told it exactly what we want to do. I mean, if I right click on this and play, the video plays. So it does work in a sense, but we want some controls in here so that the user will be able to play, pause it, seek through the video, whatever. And incredibly simple to do. Another parameter that you want to add to the video element here is just controls. And one other thing that I'm going to do is set the width of the video to, uh, I don't know, should we say go for uh, 420? That'll do. 
And what this is going to do now is going to reduce the size of the video and add in some controls. As simple as that. So if I save that, refresh it, we have the video. Press play. It plays. Obviously, click it again. It'll pause it. We've got some volume controls here. Uh, full screen. Uh, seeker bar. Basic controls, which all of this doesn't need a plugin like Flash. That's the beauty of HTML5 video. Is that what we've done is relatively simple. It doesn't need Flash. It doesn't need plugins. This player is built into the browser as it is with every other browser, which means that you've got a faster loading time and you're not worried about, say, when Flash uh, player, for example, has errors and they're kind of outside of your control. Uh, it's better, it's quicker, it's more semantic, it works. So, um, we'll leave this for now. Let's just do a little bit of um, CSS work. Uh, it's not really necessary that you do this. It's just, again, more of a formality sort of thing. So I'm just gonna select all of the elements, everything or all using the asterisk sign. Set the margin to zero and the padding to zero. Um, I'll do for that. We're going to select the section that we created, and we'll just set this to text align uh, center. And what this is going to do is center the video and anything contained in the section element. Um, and we'll select the video. Remember, we gave it an ID, so we're going to select the video. And I'm just going to give it a border. And the reason I'm giving it a border is just to say show that it's there more than anything. Uh, in, in all truth, it's not necessary that you do the CSS file. I just like to sort of know where the video is using this border, just to center everything and just to get rid of some of the browser defaults. But if I refresh this, I'll play Chrome. As you can see, we've got the video centered now. We've got this red border around it so that we know that it's there. Um, which, and we've also got rid of the, the margin, the padding that would be there usually. So, I think that will do for this uh, this part of the tutorial. Um, in fact, what we can probably do next is take a little bit more of an in-depth look at some of the um, parameters that you can add to uh, the video element. And I'm going to discuss these in detail, tell you what they do, um, and perhaps give you a little bit of advice on what to use and perhaps what not to use. But um, the parameters are as simple as adding in these uh, little sort of, you know, in this case, controls. You can add a poster image. That's one thing we are going to do. Um, you could set the height if you wanted to. It's not necessary to set the height. I'll, I'll talk more about that later. But uh, for now, you've actually got your video more or less working. But there's a little bit more stuff that I want to show you. So I will see you in the next video.